We live to fight another day. What? It's God's name. It's happening. They were simple instructions. How hard is it to follow simple instructions? Vincenzo, why is my audience dead? Why don't you ask this guy before he croaks? I mean, really. <coughs> what does on my signal mean to you? Does it mean whatever the hell you want? Didn't turn out well for them. <laughs> what about me, huh? Condemned to death by the stupidity of others. It was simple. Wait for all the Russos to be in the room together. Shoot on my signal. Couldn't follow either one. Almost makes me happy to be put out of my freaking misery. Vincenzo, what did you do? What? Really? You of all people are gonna point your finger at me? <coughs> Guess every one of you nutsos has a reason to be afraid of payback from Atlantic City. Sleep tight, Russos. I may not be the last to come for you. Just nonsense is all it is. We can't let them scare us. We don't know who they are to begin with. Oh, don't act like you're above all this. For all we know, someone at City Hall has it out for you. I can't even begin to tell you how little I you know about me and City Hall. snow later. Do you see the snow? Shit, Abby. You see Are you okay? Who was that? Screw up. Get away from me. Oh, they know. I thought I covered my tracks. They're gonna come back. They're gonna. What are you talking about? She's got the shakes. Could be she's danced with the devil. You're my own mom. Don't talk to me like. Crap. I think you're right. Those who fancy themselves part of the Atlantic City High Life have access to a special intoxicant. They drink the devil's blood. I should have paid more attention. Must be the stress of the move got to her. You say that now? All of this was your idea. We're so busy dealing with your problems, there's no room for anyone else. Is that really how you feel, Vincenzo? Yes, it is 100% absolutely how I feel. After everything I've done for us, everything I've sacrificed, unbelievable. Crap. I think I went too far. I'm so cold. Sorry about all this. I was right to expect trouble, just not this much of it. I really appreciate that. Just uh, please go talk to my mother for me. It was a bad time to set her off. Something. Right now, we I just need off? to figure out how to help Abby. Me? It's, um, possible, but I wouldn't be the first in line for elimination. Anyway, that's not important right now. Those people are dead, and Abby's alive. But that could change if we don't get her treated. What was that? 
Yeah, tell me about it. Mom's obsessed with herself, and Dad can hardly remember what he did two minutes ago. With the two of them so preoccupied, it's no wonder Abby keeps getting herself into trouble. That leaves me to jerry-rig everything together with twine and duct tape. Did I screw up? Thank you. I know you'll have better luck than I would. It's so cold. Opening night is a failure. I offer drinks, games, music, more excitement and luxury than this dreary mountain range has ever seen. And what do I get? An audience full of hitmen, a strung out daughter, and an unappreciative son. Just ridiculous. Nothing makes sense anymore. Welcome to my life. Nothing has gone right since the bombs, and that's a damn long time to make the show go on. Need me? The last time they needed me was when they were in diapers. Those unruly children learned the gift of language and have used it to complain ever since. Of course he does. And I'd like one thing in the last 20 years of my life to count as a success. Is that so much to ask for? Ah, oh, fine. I'll come downstairs and help. The extra moment of peace isn't worth delaying the inevitable. But it's not like I'll be able to do anything anyway. I must, I must have left something. Where did I screw up? Once a paradise, now a madhouse. Everyone lost their sanity after the bombs. The showmen are the worst of all. Avoid them at all costs. Oh, and just what are you implying? You don't know anything about me. I did what was necessary to survive in a cutthroat industry full of insane people. If they've come after me for that, let them! They're masochists who get off on risking their own lives in front of others. Once upon a time, people could appreciate simple talent. Now, everyone's so depressed about the end of the world that the only way they can feel something is by pumping their adrenaline up to 11. Something. The showmen screw up? make a living by capitalizing on that desire. You think I'm not concerned? Let me ask you something. What do you do to de-stress? Read a comic? Listen to the radio? It's the apocalypse. Maybe you go out and blow some heads off. Whatever it is, it's a distraction. A tool to stay sane under pressure. So don't you dare judge me for keeping my head above water. Much better to complain than to have an emotional breakdown. Do me one favor first. Go upstairs and let my husband Antonio know what's happening. He may not understand, but he should at least be told. What, what was that? 